Good day, everybody. Welcome back to Dodo and Me's little channel here. Say hello to the people. Hello, hello, hello. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. This is my best friend in the world. Even my better friend than the wife. She's my little everything, this girl. I'll pop you down. Thank you. Okay, I just got a, uh, when I went to First Choice Liquor today, they had some cheapo cans, and this was a 50% off and costing $3, a Kraken Black Spiced Rum and Dry 5.5% ABV, 330ml can, and the Kraken, of course, a mythical monster with like a big octopus, really. So let's try, let's get it out and uh, see what it's got. It's got no artificial sweetness in it, which means it's got tons of sugar. It's probably got a little tiny bit of uh, rum in it. And if you look on the ingredients, uh, it, the rum is actually 13.8% overall, uh, with tons of sugar in I'm not a big fan of spicy rums, but hey, cheap, what do you do? So let's get it into a glass. It'll pour kind of piss weak. Um, we'll put it down there. You can see it's got a bit of color in it. It's not gonna have a head on it. Um, it's one of these pre-mixes and some of them are good and some of them are awful. See? Really, you can smell the, uh, the ginger ale. So I'm assuming that it, what is it, that's what it is. No, no hint of rum whatsoever. This week, three dollars for that. Well, could have saved three dollars. But I thought I would introduce you to an old friend of mine. Uh, way back in, I am talking two thousand and. Oh God. Maybe 2012, I decided to go digital. I decided to get rid of my film gear uh, and go digital. And I really had no, no idea about the digital uh, photography market. So I, I'd sort of been away out of the photography scene for a few years. And when I came back into it, um, the whole world had just put away their um, uh, analog film gear and had gone digital. So analog gear was, you know, piss. You know, it was, it was just, um, it was just almost giving it away, even high quality, high end stuff. Uh, and the whole world had move out, moved over to digital and I resisted it for a while and then I decided to get into it. And I dipped my toe in the water by purchasing a camera that I found on a, on a photo trader's website. Uh, it was the Canon uh, 30D, which is a semi-pro camera from 2006. I believe it's an eight megapixel camera. And this is it. It's got my MPE 65 um, did macro lens on it, but this is the actual camera itself. I purchased it for 350 bucks. Um, and it did me for a little while, then I bought the 7D, and when I bought the 7D, the 30D basically became redundant. Then I went from the 7D to the 5D Mark III, then I went into full frame with the 60 as well, and my crop sensor cameras became obsolete. But that's the back of this beauty. Um, uh, it's really quite... Uh, an amazing piece of technology for its age, and the fact that this camera still works 100% um, perfectly. Um, the back screen is very, very, very small, uh, and it's also a little bit on the blue-tinged side. There's two birds eating um, a bread roll uh, from this morning. Uh, the screen has a blue cast to it, but that doesn't change the quality of the images at all. Uh, it's got all the all the features um, uh, that you find in a pro uh, DSLR uh, from Canon. Um, it's got all the all the, the layouts pretty much the same. It's got the battery grip here with two batteries inside. 
Uh, I've got it uh, to back focus using the back that back button there. It does have a pop-up flash, which of course we don't use as, as pros. Uh, and it's got your, your usual dial and all the bits and bobs, bobs on the back. Um, what I like about this camera and what I found especially useful for this, when I, useful um, when I was shooting uh, bands in a very dark stage setting uh, for a few years, um, what I like about this camera is it handles low light fairly well. Now its top ISO is nothing like the other cameras. The top ISO on this camera is 1600. Um, but what I really like about this camera is because it's a crop sensor with a small pixel count, those pixels are well spaced out uh, within that crop sensor. And so the noise level is very, very manageable in this camera. There's not a lot of noise when you crank up the ISO. You take it to, you compare it with a 7D, Canon 7D, um, which uh, was a crop sensor. Uh, and with a pixel count of, I think, 18, 18 megapixels. Um, cramming all those megapixels into a crop sensor means that that camera, once you hit 800 ISO, the noise really starts to kick in because they're all crammed together and that electrical interference is significant. So the, the Canon the 30D, uh, still holds its own uh, as, a, as a very useful camera. Uh, yeah, it's a bit clunky. The menu is, is linear uh, rather than horizontal. Uh, it, it's or vertical rather than horizontal. Um, it's a bit clunky. Uh, it's a bit aged, but it still is a solid workhorse. Um, I don't use it on any jobs now. I take it as a, as a backup if I need to. Um, but it really is, it's not a bad camera at all. The, the Canon uh, 30D, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a nice little solid, solid camera. I mean, you take a, a, ca a camera like the 6D, uh, which, which costs, cost around about the 1700 mark for a new body. Uh, that's a full frame, entry level full frame camera. Uh, and is much used. Uh, the, the build quality of that camera is nothing compared to the 30D. The 6D, uh, with its high price tag and, uh, and high spec uh, specifications, uh, is really plasticky and, and cheap feeling. Uh, and I've already, I'm already on my second 6D, uh, because the first one really was crap. Um, but this one, it's rock solid, it just performs. So there you are, um, back to this stuff. I'm gonna tell you, don't drink it. it this is one of those pre-mixes that just, you're better off drinking Libena. Better off drinking Libena. There is nothing in this, you know, to, to, um, to rate it. And, uh, because the expiry date on this can is the 19th of January 2025, you can only assume that they've put this in the bargain bin because nobody's buying it. Nobody wants to drink this shit. But there you are. There's a wrap up. There's the 30D and a, and a Kraken review for you. Have a good night, everybody, and uh, all the best. Bye.